yun pong title ng message ko ngayon from the uh, text na yung 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 4 to 10. Ang uh, title po niya ay Ang Buhay ng Bato at Ang Bayang Hinira. Before we proceed, I would like to also welcome po si uh, Jim Fell. Kasama nila Tita Elinda. Uh, so... So kaya meron daw pong uh, congregation na kagaya natin magtatayo din ng building. Tayo bago yung pupuntahan natin sila. Ito yung announcement. Pero doon lang sila sa dati nilang building uh, lot. Sabi niya, as an announcement number one, we shall build a new church. Number two, the new building is to be located on the side of the old one. Number three, the material in the old building is to be used in the new one. Number four, we shall continue to use the old building until the new one is completed. Para tayo yung sila. Pero mas matalino tayo sa kanila. Kapos tayo, hindi pa talaga tayo. Bago talaga yung sa atin. So, God is in the business of building something. And First Peter chapter 2, 2 verses 4 to 10 talks about that. But before that, uh, I'll read you of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 1 to 3. And especially for our pulpit uh, uh, members, speakers, uh, this is one, this is a way to interpret yung metaphors. No? This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 1 to 3. Uh, sabi ni Peter sa chapter, so verse 2, like newborn babies, Crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. It has a metaphor or a simile, kasi may salitang light. And a simile or a metaphor, as uh, our in translation, when we interpret that, we have three parts of a metaphor or a simile. Yung topic, yung reference, yung kinutukoy na tao, bagay, o pangyayari. Yung image, yun yung saan kinukumpare, yung reference, at yung Number three, yung point of similarity. Madaling tandaan, tips, topic, image, and point of similarity. And for verse 2 of 1 Peter chapter 2, yung topic are the Christians. The image is a newborn baby, and uh, point of similarity is dependence. Yung baby dependence sa parents, we are dependent on God. No? From the image na sumunod ng milk. Uh, babies are dependent. And uh, of course, the implication is that we need to grow. Uh, another metaphor there is the milk, no? Yung topic sa earlier verses talking about God's word. So that's the topic. Yung image is milk, yung gatas. Uh, point of similarity, they are used for nourishment. So. That's the way. Sometimes, not all of the elements or parts are there. So, kailangan mo talaga titignan ng bias yung text. So, this morning, we're going to talk about uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 4 to 10. And uh, there, let's go and read 1 Peter chapter, 4, chapter 2, verses 4 to 10. <coughs> Sa NIV po ito. As you come to Him, the living stone, si Jesus, rejected by humans, but chosen by God, and precious to Him. You also like living stones. Ayan, meron na namang uh, metaphor. Like, uh, simile, like living stones. Are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For in scripture it says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now to you who believe this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and the stone that causes people to stumble, and the rock that makes them fall. 
They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The image that is being given to us is a building, a temple actually. When we build things, we need supplies. Sa, like sa Middle East, no? maraming construction doon. Nandun yung pinakamataas na building in the world. Anong pangalan na? The Burj. The Burj Khalifa. Eh, sana yun? Sa, sa Qatar ba yun? Sa West, Dubai. Sa, tapos, uh, pero yung Saudi Arabia, magtatayo daw ng mas mataas pa dun. Mas mataas pa dun. So, eh sa Middle East, maraming nagtatrabaho, di ba? Iba-ibang international, uh, nationality. So, may construction daw dun, yung foreman, Amerikano. Uh, may tatlo siyang workers, isang Filipino, isang Scottish, at isang Chinese, yung mga workers niya. Sabi ng foreman na, na Amerika, Kasi may pile ng sand, ganito, maraming maraming sand na kapayo. Sabi niya dun sa tatlo, ayusin yung pile ng sand. So sabi niya dun sa Pilipino, you're in charge of sweeping. Sabi niya naman dun sa Scotsman, uh, you're in charge of uh, shoveling. Talahin daw yung uh, sand. Sabi niya dun sa pangato, was a Chinese, Uh, you're in charge of supplies. Kailangan ng supplies. Kasi okay. I have to leave for a little while. So when I come back, I expect na wala na doon yung the sun. The pile of sun is gone. But with, pagbalik niya, ano ba? Hindi na galaw. Uh, medyo irritated siya. So sinabihan niya yung Pilipino. Why didn't you sweep any of it? Sabi ng Pilipino, sabi niya, Didn't I tell you to sweep it? Sabi ng Pilipino, Yes sir, you told me sir na to sweep the sun. But you you told me that Chinese guy is in charge of supplies but he disappeared. <laughs> so I cannot sweep the sun. Because I don't have room, I don't have, have supply. Tinanong niya naman yung Ah, uh, Scottish. Did I tell you to shovel? Why didn't you shovel any of it? Sabi ng Scottish. I lied. You told me to. You told me to shovel. But you said the Chinese guy is in charge of supplies. He disappeared, and I don't have a shovel. So, well, may juga nito talaga siya. So, kung bunta siya nito sa may sand, nandito yung sand. Nahanap niya yung Chinese. With apologies to. Uh, kaya yun, ano? Ang yung Chinese? Wala hindi niya makita. Tapos, bigla mo ba siya Chinese? Goods! Supplies! 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 Tayo, pag uh, when we are building something for God, supplies na ginagawa. Palagi ko, sino supplies din tayo ni Lord Thomas. But God, when He builds something, you know, He's building something. What is He using? What is He using? But when we go back to Peter chapter 4, you know, have you, take off, bago natin ito balik, punta tayo sa, napunta na ba kayo sa, have you seen a building That's about uh, 500 years old, 600 years old. No uh, nag... This is Bat Lion Church of Bohol. No uh, uh, Hanging mo namin ni Angel, punta po kami sa Bohol. At isa po ito sa mga tourist spots. 
Gawa po yan noong 1595. First time. And then ni-renovate noong 1724. So it's actually 429 years old. And uh, noong mga panahon, the best building material is stone. And that's made of stone. That's almost 500 years old. But last year, nagkaroon po ng lindol. And that looks, that's the uh, church right now. Yan po yung Baklayan Church after the, after the, uh, the first grade. So, buildings made of stone don't last forever. Kahit gaano matagal, kahit gaano matibay, masisira din pagdating ng panahon. So, uh, next slide. That's how different it looks like. Right? Iba na po yung... Uh, Supply <laughs> In uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 4, Sabi do, as you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him. So there is a metaphor there. Jesus is the living stone. No? And the uh, topic is Jesus, the living stone. The image is a living stone foundation. And the point of similarity is that the building built on Christ is a temple that will last forever. Because it's built, it's built of, made of a living stone. Hindi kagaya ng dead stone or ordinary stone. Sa panahon ni Apostle Peter, before AD 70, the greatest temple in Palestine was the Jerusalem Temple. God's Temple. There. It was built in 519 BC. Ang makalaki po yung tao ang litlan po dyan. Sa baba. Ito yung uh, nilagyan ng wall, tapos may mount siya, tapos nasa ibabaw yung temple complex. Ang laki po yan, that is very beautiful and it's all made of marbles. Kumikinang yan, sabi ni Jesus Christ, kung nakita niya, pagbababa ng Mount of Olives. That's a very beautiful temple. But when Peter called Jesus as the living stone, he was making a very bold statement. <coughs> He was comparing Jesus to the temple and in, implicitly he's saying that's made of ordinary stone, that's made of a dead stone and that it will not last forever. And he was right. In AD 70, that temple was destroyed by the Romans. So the next slide, what's left of that temple is simply this. Yung pong wall doon sa baba na mount. And uh, sadly, yung site ng temple, ang makonquer ng mga Muslims, yung uh, Jerusalem, tinayo po nila doon sa mismong temple area. Yung dome nila. The dome of the rock, Al-Aqsa. Kira mo yung nakapunta sa Jerusalem? Dito. Si Mr. Nakabuta ng Muslim. Pwede pong pasok there is only one God. And uh, He is not begotten. So, ano yun, uh, apologetics nila laban sa mga Christians. There's only one God, so wala Trinity, and He is not begotten, so they just see Jesus Christ. So, just imagine, yan yung nakatayo ngayon dyan sa templo. Uh, so, the temple is made of a dead stone. And how it, it lasted for a long time. Smula 519 BC. 
Yun na yung second rebuilding. Hindi yun pa yun yung first building na temple na tinayo ni Solomon. Ano po? Yung tinayo ni Solomon, that was uh, 10, 10, 1000 BC, 1040 BC, after ni David. So, this one was rebuilt 500 years later. And it stood there until AD 70, more than 500 years. But that building made of marbles and uh, white, shining stones no longer exist. But there is a building that will, will last forever. That one is built by God and the foundation is Jesus, the living stone. Jesus is the living stone and the temple built on him. Kailanman po ay hindi masisira. Ibig sabihin, ito po ang ibig sabihin ng living stone. That Jesus is eternal and ending cannot be destroyed by men or by time. So this is our King. This is our Lord. The living stone. The, the living stone, meron po siyang kambal na kapalaran. My dual faith yung living stone. He was rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to Him. <coughs> yung una niya, kapalaran, pinayawan siya ng mga tao, itinakul siya ng mga tao, pinahirapan siya, hindi siya kinilala ng mga hudyo, ng mga pinuno. Sa halip, pinurin siyang kriminal, pinurahan, pinugbog, minasak yung katawan niya ng uh, paghahagupit, ipinako sa krus, at pinutungan ng puro ng tinig. So that was his faith. Pero, may katambal din po yun. He was glorified by God. Ginawa siyang maghari magpakainuman. He's chosen by God and precious to Him. Hinira siya na maging hukum ng lahat. He's a judge. He's a king. He is ordained by God to inherit everything. Lahat ang nilikha ng Diyos at lahat ang kayamanan ng Diyos ang Panginoong Jesus ang magmaman. So that's the living stone. He's eternal. He will never be destroyed by anyone. Not by time, not by men. And He's also gone through suffering. First, He took a, cross, a crown of thorns before He took crown of glory na binigay sa Kanya ng Ama. And then, on all this living stone, dito kay Jesus Christ, the one who will never end, the eternal one, the one who bore, who wore a crown of thorns before he wore a crown of glory, upon him is us, this building na ginagawa ng God. Sabi ni Peter, we as Christians, we are living stones. As you come to him, the living stone rejected by men, but chosen by God, you also like living stones. We are also like living stones. Pag ikinabit na tayo ng God kay Jesus Christ, we become living stones. So, parang bloke-bloke na the image is one na tinatayo ng Panginoon. E dinudugtong tayo sa Panginoong Jesus. So, unang-una sa lahat, our life is characterized by a coming to Jesus. Sabi ni Peter, as you come to Him, habang lumalapit tayo kay Christ. Some say, uh, discipleship is being formed in the image of God. Which is correct. Ito kay Peter, sinasabi niya, this is a journey into Christ. Discipleship, our life as believers, is a journey into the nature of Jesus Christ. Kailangan makilala natin si Jesus. We are given the privilege to journey into God's very heart as revealed by Jesus Christ. 
So discipleship is a life journey. It's not a dash, sabi nga nila, sprint, but it's a life journey. As we draw near to Jesus Christ, the result is an imitation of His image. So, coming to Christ, what, what does this look like? Ano ibig sabihin ng coming to Christ? Peter says that we are being built into a spiritual house. A spiritual house. Hindi ko ibig sabihin, hindi uh, na ako nakikita. Kasi spirit na ako. Kahit po glorified na yung noko, physical person pa rin ako. But we are spiritual people. But what does that mean? This is allowing ourselves to be built into the temple of Jesus, the living temple. Kaya tawag tayong spiritual house, ibig sabihin, ang buhay natin ay nakasuko sa paggabay ng banal na Espiritu. Ibig sabihin, nagpapasakot tayo sa kalooban ng banal na Espiritu. And what is, ano yung kalooban ng banal na Espiritu? Pastor Reggie talked part of it last time, ano? Sabi doon sa 2nd, 1st Peter chapter 2 verse 1. Having rid yourselves of all malice, deceit, hypocrisy, and slander, no? kailangan bawala rin sa atin. That's part of God's will for us. So, dapat wala lang tayo yung paghangad ng ikasasama ng ibang tao. Yung pandaraya, yung pagkukunwari, yung envy, at paninirang puri. This is one of the will of the Holy Spirit. So, loobin din ang banal na spirito later as we go through the First Peter na series, we will see that in, hindi, ang pagpapasakop sa Diyos ay nangahulugan din ang pagpapasakop sa gobyerno, sa bawat isa, sa mga mag-asawa. But if we are a Christian, pero dinadaya naman natin yung ating kapatid, Nagpapasakop ka ba sa banal na spirito? Kung uh, isa kang Christian, pero sa business mo, hindi mo naman, uh, lalo na yung kapatid mo, as a Christian, hindi mo dinadaya mo pa, that, that is, sa tingin ko, mahirap sabihin na you are really uh, being guided by the Spirit. Definitely, you are not guided by the Spirit in that uh, action. So, beloved, we are being built into Christ. And just as Jesus suffered, so secondly, because Jesus has dual faith, we too will partake of that dual faith. Yung yung kambal na kapalala ni Jesus, dadaanan din po natin yan. Una, Christ is the living stone and we are also living stones. And second, Christ has dual faith that we will share. So he was rejected by humans but he was chosen by God. So, kung tayo po uh, nakakaranas ng persecution o pag-alipus na ng ibang tao dahil sa pananampalatayan natin kay Jesus. Sabi nga, natural lang yun. So, atawain ko po si Kuya at para sa kanyang uh, munting uh, testimony sa atin. Kung ano yun po yung nangyari sa kanyang Bible study sa kanya uh, pinagtatrabaho sa kanyang workplace. Oh, 
ko sa pintana nito na matunghaya namin kung paano ka mag provide sa gawain mo at sa kapaho ko. Maging maging makasundo at pag-encourage sa pati di ba yung panangang at panangang tayo sa iyo. Ang munting testo ko na ito. Nagalan ni Jesus Lain itu, amin. Siapa pun saya ini orang kagaya aku. Kau lagi sekolah. Kita lagi kau mesti nak aku kagaya aku. Ti years saya secara sosial, kalau mesti. Ya, sama anda yang kami nunggu. Kecil lah, kecil lah. Kalau kita sedih sedih tak ada yang aku. Tapos nga, may evaluate ako pagka yung paraan ng pagsasalita ko nun. Pero kaya atagaw po natin yun. And sa'yo, hindi, ayun na sila. Parang productive na kami hindi. So, when I say, I'm sure a lot of us, I get to share. So, ito pass po. Nagkaroon mo pa ng opportunity yung mapas track. Makapag-share. So, yun po yung transition ng pag-alik din sa Teng. Sinasabi niya, okay, let's sa American Francis Rines. Oo, at ang example na ating mga misyonaryo, at salamat din sa mga misyonaryo, sa sabi nila, eh, kayo, eh, hindi lang lalabas, hindi na yung cross-culture pa. Hindi po natin masyadong sa American, at pupunta na po tayo sa naging kailangan sa America. So, yung mga bandang puro, boy, kailan po ba tayo na Bible Bates nun? Sa Catholic Christ. Hindi, pang Abril pa eh. Nagkaroon ako ng opportunity to later on, to think na hindi ako makapag-share sa ito lang yung company namin eh. Sige, basta tayo, build night pala. Kasi hindi pwede sa mga imit na eh. So, kaya isa. Hindi pa lang yung Pagbabawal ng midnight, no, madaling araw, 4, kasi parang hindi makaabala sa trabaho. So, ubusad yun. Yung unang gabi, sabi ko, ba ito Isa lang yung iisip ko, yung guardiya eh. Eh, tatlo pa tatlo. Kasi yung isa namin, nag-ubusan namin yung mula 5 hanggang 6. O 4.45 hanggang 5.45. Kasi iwasan ko nga, kasi busy na sa maga eh. So kami pa rin ang pati pagbubro ng coffee, although ako po kasi yung manager doon. <laughs> hindi ako humingi ng coffee doon sa restaurant. Nagbubro kami. Medyo niingatan ko na, you know, na ito ko lumosin. So anyway, ito ako po yan. So, so, in dalawa, in tatlo, in apat, in apat, sabi ko. Ito pala yung plan. Sabi ko, kaya pala, bago pa nangingalit ito, marami kang pinaalala sa akin. So, ayun, hindi siya share kami. Ito po ang 2011. Ay, nung daan na rin, natandaan na rin dyan na ang dami. Ang dami na wala, madami yung paan na rin ito. 2011 yun eh. Kung mukha ko na madami doon. Kung mukha ko na madami doon. Hindi ako. At pinamigay ko doon. Sige, ayun natin. Sabi sa wala pang ibang time. Ayun, ginawa namin yung natin araw. Eh, lumalabis. Nagiging 6.15 siguro. Sabi sa atin kami dyan. Sad kasi ang tawag na sa akin, hindi art. So one day, papasa ko. Tinawal ko ng boss. Ang boss ko po, yung music boss ko, yung president ko na yun. Siya din yung mayari. Siya din yung mayari. Art, ano yung mayari dito sa ganito? Normally, pag importante, tinatawag ako niya ngayon. 5.45 ng hapon kasi uuwi na ako kami time na siya. Uwi na rin siya. Ay, yung mawagos na ito. Ah, ganito siya. Ganito ako sa mga. Pero nahalata ako, meron siya mga tingin na sabihin. Ganito na pala ganito. Okay, ah, okay. I don't know how to start this, sabi niya. Are you sharing the Bible with the future employees? Oh, sir. Biglang nagpapag. Who gave me the right to do that? Ah, no, 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 let me, sir, again. Sir, uh, 
talagang tiyakapagtawag sa break nila. Medyo eh, pala sa... Eh, actually, yun yung reason. Talaga yun yung ano ko. Kasi para hindi maka... Ano sa... We're 45 hanggang 5.30. <laughs> kasi natutulog po ako doon eh. Hindi na ako hindi! So, hindi yan, oh! You're really using the resources of the... Ano? Yes, and then, no, 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 don't argue. So, yeah, so, wow, sabi ko, naalala ko tuloy yung sinabi niya tayo sa yung normal lang po. If you find something uh, like this, eh, don't find it strange that this is happening to you. You know, I thought yung kumasok sa yung, wow, God, ito pa yung hindi ko sabihin, don't find it strange. But right now, itong presidente ko, nung dalawang linggo na nakaharap, sinasabon kami kasi dami namin yung palpatin sa trabaho, may doon yung makulik na. Kasi ito. But I feel so strange. I mean, can you tell me? You tell me not to feel strange, but I feel so strange. So, I can't ask you, oh, what do you think about it? I mean, you didn't. I was like, oh, wow, wow. Ah, at that point, I was like, 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 Huwag ka magkagawa niyan dito! Not in my property! It's like, wow! This boss is with my boss. Hindi ko na sabihin niyo pa, for more than 13 years. I know him, he knows me. At pag sa mga ating missions, nagpapasa nga kami ganito. Kasi yun lang opportunity namin. But rest nga na yung panitang bago mag-jump, kaya mo kami sa araw-araw yan. Except Sunday, kasi we didn't move up nung nakaka. So, ito tayo dito. So, what's that? So, so I'm like, yeah, yeah. So, I'm like, so I'm like, sir, uh, I don't, don't explain to me. I don't know how to say, no, let me just say that. I think I heard what you said, and uh, I understand it. At the back of my mind, sir, they keep on coming up with your cards. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sure this guy is going to be This won't be a problem. Yeah, better than this. I mean, it won't be a problem. But if I come back to my mind, it won't be a problem for you. It won't be a problem for me. But if I come back to my mind, it won't be a problem for me. It won't be a problem for me. Pinalaw niya ako kahit sa export things kahit na door apat na tao, daily in the morning, mga umpisa, eh, mangyayaring papatuloy niya ako. So, what happened? So, kinabukasan ng madaling araw, buwaba ako. Sabi ko, dinandun na naman yung mga anong ka, oh, ano siya? Sabi ko, tayo ba? Sabi ko, ba, hindi pa masyadong convinced. Pero, They have given some criticisms, eh, matinda pa na pagkanigaan ito. Nawawala yung antok namin. <laughs> Nawawala yung bago namin sa gabi. And kakaroon ng affirmation na it's becoming useful for them. Kung ang thought, eh. Ah, uh, halo-halo nga eh. Tuwari ko, may... Bentista, meron pang Jehovah eh. Medyo mahirap na kasi yung sa iba, yung sa person ni Christ ang difficult. Meron pang oneness doon. Dahil isa, pag... Eh... Bago ko lang ituloy, suspense ko lang ito ano nangyari. Ah, kumakayat na pata, napilitan na, gusto ko mabuwili ng Tagalog. Kasi kung mag-share po tayo sa yung... Maganda nga yung may Tagalog. Ito, Daiklot, kalang ahaba ang kamay mo dito pag kalang. Kakabiyo mo kagad sa English kasi kung isa yung Tagalog. Ang hirap, nakalagay doon, may inam na pinagalitan. Ito ba ang mainang pinagalitan? Pinagalit rin siya sa matindi. Pag kumabubuli ka sa English, ito mo agad. And intensely, he was angry. Tapos meron doon yung... At pag ikaw ay matapat sa Panginoon, nagantihan ka niya. Nagantihan ka niya. Hindi, ito ka nakasulat eh. Sorry, you are. Pero siningit ko lang po yun para madali. Kasi kung yung kausap natin yung... Everyday people like we are. Kasi ito na yung lang eh. Hindi naman tayo, ganun din, kabilasa sa Tagalog ng malalim. Pag nakita ko sa Ingles, kung isang mas malalim. Anyway, so, bumaba ako noon, 4.45, sabi ko. Oh, ah, lalabas muna tayo. Lalabas muna tayo. Bakit siya? Ngayon naman ang chuchuan siya. 
Tinago ko na lang si, ano, si boss. Hindi naman, so iwasan na lang natin uh, yung sa panahon. Kasi dami natin yung questions, ganado tayo, makabot tayo ng 615, eh, dami ng tao eh. Uh, sabi pala niya. I sabi ko, sige, labas tayo. Mamaya, doon tayo magkita tayo 8 o'clock. Kasi 8 o'clock labas nila eh. Mag-aantay ako doon sa guard. Punta tayo sa ano, sa bala. Kasi nang nag-express. Kasi siya nag-express, aircon din yun. Aircon, hindi nag-aaral na namin, aircon din yun eh. So, punta ko, kung nandun ako na 8 o'clock. Hindi kita ako kasi yun. Natay ko, punta ako na sila. Dumating. Tapos nagtatingan din yung mga construction worker na casual. Sabi niya, Sir, pastor ka ba? Ah, hindi. Sabi ko, hindi ako ordained pastor, pero yung word kasi nangangalaga eh. Pag gusto mong mataalaga, alagaan na namin. Sa saking ni sa inyo? Ilan kayo? Eh, ito, tatlo, apat kami. Sa ito, tatlo, tatlo kami. Sa ito, tatlo, tatlo kami. Ah, sabi nyo, may dati kong kasama. Yan, nagdati ka na. Sa saking ni sa inyo? Gano'n sa ito? Ano ko alas papasot ngayon? Eh, alas alas otso. Eh, alas otso kayo ng ugusa. Taka mo na, taka mo na. Invited kayo. Kaya na mag sa oras ng trabaho kasi yun na nga yung problema na yun. Ahanap tayo yung paraan dyan. Dalawa po yung location namin. May isa pa doon. Sabi, hindi na pa kayo nagkaano, sir, sa ano, sa... doon sa pagmadali. Hindi na, nabawas kami. Sige, why kami din dito? So, what can you say is, Uh, he let you, he let you, he, he has told it in advance, if you get into this fellowship and you let the, your humble vessel overflow and, and share what is his teaching, it's natural that you will go through this, I mean, it don't feel it strange, although I will tell you my friends, I felt very strange. Mataas pa sa akin yung boss ko. It's so powerful. Siguro kung kasing bigat ni Pip, maka almost like, like that, kanya. And he raises his voice. Don't ever use the resources of this company for it. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So, I understood it, sir. We will. It won't be a problem. So, I, like, we're part of it. Okay, so then we are be part of us friends. So now, We're doing it outside. Yung mula namin sa Sinangag Express, medyo mahal kasi mahal din yung Sinangag. 70 na yung underprice eh. Hindi pa kami na sa mga ngayon din. Okay ba sa inyo? Coffee, coffee? Okay sir, coffee. Basta mag-share tayo. Minsan tatlo pa rin kami nandiyo sa napa. Coffee. Sampo po sa doon ang coffee. So, 8 o'clock hanggang 9. Pero, sabi ko, medyo pilisan din natin kasi dahil ang paso ko kapag yung malilit ako doon. Ma, ano na naman natatawag ito lang ako sa ang principal. Ikagawa po namin. So, now, I think we will get the midnight shift. Pero mga apat na po lang naman sa midnight. And make an earlier pass for them. Kaya sabi ko nga nung si Dijar ko pila pa kasi ito. Kaya yung mga kasama ko dyan, maganda na sila. Sino mo ba ang tutulong sa akin? Then sila, tingin na ko sa'yo. At ang kaya mga, pwede ito sa area. Kasi, medyo grabe yung concern. But God allows us to do that. Sabi, eh, sinabi na niya. So, it's not, it's not strange. Kala ko, sabi niya sa'yo, pag hindi mo hindi ganyan, tapang gawin ko na. Hindi na, hindi na sabihin. So, it won't be a problem. I realized what I said. It won't be a problem for him. It won't be a problem for me. It was not that. It won't be a problem for God. Because no matter how strange you might find yourself in some difficult situation, it's not a problem for him. Hindi na dami pa nga niya yung ipag-participate na doon. So doon ko pa din tapos yung alita sa estimate ko. Buhay ang Panginoon at ang kanyang maganda na dito. Thank you, Kuya Hart. So, sinayang po ni Kuya Hart yun ang uh, Wednesday ng gabi. A Bible study na. A Bible study natin every Wednesday. So, sabi ko magandang uh, mesyo ko. Tama-tama sa message ko. <laughs> so, it's part of, uh, it's natural, sabi nga, 
sabi, sabi nga ni Peter, di ba? Though we find it strange, if things like this happen, later on, meron pa nga dyan na will suffer for doing good. So, it's part of our life. Part ng uh, journey natin yun. Part ng participation natin uh, sa dual faith ni Jesus Christ. That of wearing a crown of thorns. And of course, meron din crown of glory. And we share that too. Hindi tayo pababayaan ng Panginoon. So, in this, uh, in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 6, sabi nga ni Kuya, hindi problem kay God yun. Ang sabi nga ni Peter, as yung uh, kinot ni Peter yung sa Isaiah, See, I lay a stone in Zion. The one who trusts in Him will never be put to shame. Siguro, for a while, na pahiya si Kuya Art nung pinagalitan niya nung kanyang boss. Pero paglabas niya, ano nung dumami yung iba Bible study niya? Duma <laughs> ba siya doon? So, akala siguro na yung the first uh, reaction ni Kuya Art, strange na strange pala ito, pagalitan ka lang, sana medyo higante, ano? But, the purpose is not to have you shame, no? So those who trust in Him will never be put to shame. And actually, mas dumami pa tuloy yung ibabay was sa ni Kuya Art, pati yung mga, mga construction workers doon sa katabi, sasabi na, sasabi na sa Bible study. So we, we are protected. We are, we will never be put to shame. We, we have this assurance. No? The building that God builds in Jesus is an eternal building. And that is a great assurance. Not only that, we are assured of God's protection. Whatever happens, whatever happens, God allows things to happen for His own purpose. Kailanman, tayo mga nananampalataya sa Panginoong Jesus ay hindi ipapahiya ng ating Amang Diyos. Kahit gaano mga pagalipus na sa inyo, gaano pagpapahirap o pagmamaliit, ang ginagawa ng ibang tao dahil sa pananampalataya natin sa Diyos, we will never be put to shame. We are protected by His power. As we have discussed in chapter 1, you are shielded by the power of God. So there is nothing to fear. Or sometimes, pag nandun ka, human nature, <laughs> fear talaga. But God calls us to level up. Itaas natin yung pananampalataya natin. Itaas natin yung pag-iisip natin. That God is in control. And He has put a living stone in Zion. Whatever happens to us, good or bad, God is with us. And we will not be put to shame. And in verses 9 to 10 of First Peter chapter 2, sabi niya dito, You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, that you may declare the wonderful deeds of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received the mercy, but now you have received mercy. Yung mga nakakapunta sa ibang bansa, o ay nagtatrabaho sa ibang lugar, no? Alam nila, experientially, kung papaano maging isang dayuhan sa isang bansa. Nabubuhay ka dyan na uh, minsan, yung mga totoong tuto, citizens ng bansa na yun, mababa ang tingin sa'yo. Uh, hindi ka comfortable dyan kasi uh, syempre, lagi na nandun yung ano eh, may racism. Especially if you're a refugee. Yung nga yung tatrabaho, uh, inaalipos ka pa eh. Paano ba pag refugee ka, magaya noon dito sa atin, yung mga Vietnamese? O yung ngayon, yung mga Kurds na, mga Christian na Kurds na pinagpapatay ng mga uh, terrorist na Muslim sa Iraq. Uh, tumatakas talaga sila. So, paano ba pag refugee ka, nakatira ka sa isang lugar, wala kang pagkain, nag-aantay ka lang ng may magbibigay ng pagkain. That's the situation when you are not a people. 
when you are not a citizen. Yan yung situation mo eh. And for us, it's not easy to so mga kagaya sa atin na hindi naman nakaranas yan. Mahirap maintindihan yung mentality ng isang refugee, ng isang immigrant. But that is a very difficult situation. But here in Peter, Peter tells us we are a chosen race. We are God's people. No? Hindi tayo mga immigrants with God. In the world, we are we are uh, foreigners. But in God's kingdom, we are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. We are called that we may declare the wonderful deeds of God who called us out of darkness and into His marvelous light. Once you were not people, but now you are God's people. Ito nga lang sa akin, pag nakatira ka sa isang Muslim community, Kristiyano ka, ang hirap eh. Ang kapatid natin si Ate Butch, na mayroon siyang grant sa FIFA for small, ano, yung uh, microfinance. Pinagamit ka yung pera para patinda ng mga kakanin. Para natira sila doon, sa, sa daluyan ba sila? Na, ano yung area nila? Sa may ila... Pabahay. So, maraming mga Muslim doon, Muslim halos karamihan. If you're a Christian living there, kaya kay uh, Ate Butch, yung kanyang experience, nagtitinda siya ng kakanin, may lumabit na Muslim at kumain yung tinitinda niya. Pagkatapos kumain, Pumalis na. Ano lang, bayan, ano lang kayo. Ano lang magawa. Kasi sila yung makapangyarihan doon. Even in our own place. That is an example of when you are not a people. Nahirap. But we are God's people. We are God's own possession. We are a chosen race. Sabi sa Tagalog, maharlikang kaparian. Hmm? Hindi lang tayo mga ordinary citizens. But we are a royal priesthood. Ibig sabihin, binigay sa atin ng Diyos ang kapangyarihan ng mga maharlika at ang kapangyarihan ng mga pari. Hmm? Noong unang panahon sa Israel, magkaiwala yung hari at magkaiwala yung pari. No? My king, David, my high priest. But sa New Testament, there's only one king and there's only one high priest, Jesus Christ. So at the same time, we too, we are a royal priesthood. Pinag-isa na. Nobles and priests together. Christ is our high priest and our king. So we are a royal priesthood. Sabi nga ni Jesus Christ, all authority given up, is given up and, and is also given to us. So let's proclaim the wonderful deeds of God. Yan yung uh, calling natin. Yan yung purpose sa Rick Peter dito sa passage nito. Kaya ni Kuya Art, no? na natakatuwa na dumadami yung uh, binababos na niya na in-share mga tao. Kahit pa ano, lalo na yung pag-link niya na sinabi na uh, nakaka-alis ng pagod, nakaka-alis. At least kahit pa ano, nakawala sa isip namin yung uh, uh, araw-araw na ginagawa mo, yung mga Mga, the things that happen to us every day in the world, anxiety, stress, sa work, sa family, at this kind of bahano, for a while their minds and their hearts are refreshed, hearing the wonderful deeds of God. So this is our, hindi tayo tinawag ng God para sa sarili lang natin. No? Yung mga Calvinists, tinawag sila para sa sarili lang nila. So, pag tinawag ka Calvinism yun, you are called, you are chosen, okay na, sa'yo na yun. But for us, it's not. Pag tinawag ka ng God, you are called to be a blessing. You are called to call other people. You are called to explain to them the wonderful deeds of God. That they too may experience it. So, hindi po tapos yung ano. So, that is, ito yung pinaka-application dito eh. We are God's people. We have experienced His mercy. We, are, we have experienced His wonderful deeds in our lives. Let's, let's proclaim it. Let's share it. 
It's a great privilege to pray for people, to tell them that God loves them. Kahit pa paano matulungan natin sila na maibsan yung inaharap nila sa araw-araw. Pray and bless people. Share the story of God in your life. You are royal. You are a priest. Be a witness. Can testify. Speak. Proclaim. Shout the wonders of God. This is our purpose. We are called to proclaim the wonderful deeds of God. As we journey into the very nature of Christ, Habang lumalapit tayo sa Panginoon, habang lalo natin siyang nakikilala, habang lalo lumalalim ang pagkakaunawa natin sa pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. Let us proclaim what we know. Tell others, we have a wonderful, loving Father. Saman na nananabit na naghihintay sa iyo na magbalik loob sa kami. In verse 7 to 8, there's a just this passage. Not to you who believe this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And, verse 8, a stone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. So these people are destined for disobedience. What does that mean? That these people are distinct for disobedience. First, it means even the disobedient are under God's control. God limits what they can do to His people. No, may, may hangganan yung kanilang uh, magagawa sa atin. Pangalawa, no? so these people, they reject Christ in their own peril. Inakala nila, inakala, inakala ng mga nagtakwil kay, nagtatakwil kay Jesus sa dahil ng mga, mga makapangyarihan at mga atheists that they have their own power. Kagaya ng mga pinuno ng mga kudyo noon. And today, mga atheists, they think, oh, hindi namin kailangan ng Diyos, mas may kapangyarihan kami. They think that uh, they can decide and it's their own uh, decision to make. Subalit, ang pagsuway nila ay nasa ilalim pa rin ng kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Kaya talang kasusuway mo sa Diyos, nasa ilalim ka pa rin ng kapangyarihan. Sumulad ka na lang. Sumusuway ka, nasa ilalim ka pa rin naman ng kapangyarihan niya. So, God limits what they can do and they were distinct to dis disobey the message. So, sometimes, uh, this is a Yung criticism sa Trinitarian Theology is that ito nga eh, may mga tao na distinct or uh, disobedience. Hindi bang sabihin, wala silang choice dahil destined sila ng God. Wala ba silang responsibility doon sa kanilang uh, ginawa? So God just consigns people, ikaw ang magka, maging disobedient ka, ikaw ang obedient ka. The scripture tells us that God still holds people responsible even if they disobey. Kaya sinabi nito, distinct sila, they are still responsible for their own action. It is on their own free will that they reject Christ. God did not force it on them. For example, the Jews, the leaders of the Jews, they know, they knew that Jesus was a teacher from God. Kahit ganyan lang yung alamin, a teacher from God. But they disobeyed, they, they rejected Christ. So Romans chapter 1, verse 18 to 23. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Since what may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. People are without excuse. It's, it, it's not just simple, they are distinct. 
And God says they have a responsibility for their own choice. They are without excuse. For although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God, nor gave thanks to Him. But their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools. Hindi nila yun, so inalaw ng God sila. And that's how the scriptures are fulfilled in their lives. They chose it. They chose it. But praise God because we are not among them. Those who are disobedient. Kung noon, tayo hindi natin natanggap yung habang ng Diyos. Today, we have received God's grace ang kanyang kagandaan loob. In closing, again brethren, the same message I shared before, I would like to share again, there is no need to be afraid. We are under God's protection. There is nothing to fear. Whatever happens in our lives, God is in control. We are God's people and we are His own. Called to proclaim His wonders, we are under the protection of Jesus, the living stone, the one that will never die or be destroyed. Even the disobedient, even those who are persecuting you, they are under God's control and can only do as much as God allows them. We have nothing to be afraid of. We are living stones that will endure forever because Christ endures forever. Second, Christ, our foundation, has His dual faith. Meron siyang kapal na kapalanan. Magsuot ng korona ng tinig at magsuot ng korona ng kaluwalatian. We share in that dual faith. Hindi pinin natin pwedeng basta-basta takasan yun. Ang ganda ng salita sa Latin. Ad astra, prospera. Through adversity to the stars. Astra, the stars. To the stars, through adversity. It is natural. If these things happen, kagaya ng nangyari kay Kuya Art, ito, huwag namin magtata. Ito, don't count it strange. All of us have to strange, no? <laughs> strange sa life. But these things happen. I know, di ba ito ang nauna pa tayo sa WCG pa? We have experienced all maraming ganito. Uh, although uh, medyo may pagkukula din yung ginawa natin, but uh, atikman na natin yan. Atikman na natin. So, it's expected of us to share, huh? to wear the crown of thorns, just as Jesus wore his crown of thorns, so that we can wear the crown of glory. So in closing, let's read. Uh, Let's read. Dahil. Iyan. Kaya nung kalayo sa kamay yan. Oo? Balikan natin yung 1 Peter 2, verse 9 to 10. Akit natin. Akit pa. Dun sa bayang hinira. Let's uh, read it now. Let's read this together as we end. Ready? But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, that you may declare the wonderful deeds of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. Once you have not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit and opening our hearts and our minds to your great love for us to understand. Maraming maraming salamat po at pinili nyo kami at tinawag nyo kami upang maging inyong kasangkapan sa pagpapahayag ng mga kahanga-hanga ninyong ginawa. Thank you, Lord. And we pray for you to give us boldness. 
Do not fear. Never fear. For you did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and sound mind. Teach us the things to say when we find ourselves in situations, like we are, how to explain, how to, how to still be uh, kind in answering, being soft in our words, still showing your love, even to those who are disobedient. Give us the strength to carry the crown of thorns and help us prepare and set our eyes on the crown of glory that we will receive on the day that Jesus Christ, our living stone, is revealed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.